So while we're all still mourning the loss of over 50 innocent lives at the Orlando Gay Nightclub Pulse last Saturday night, today I want to spread the message of love, loving who you want to love, and most importantly, truly loving yourself. So let's go ahead and count down nine more of our favorite celebrity coming out stories from the past five years. Hey guys, I'm your host Chelsea Briggs and you're watching the Hollywire Hot Minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this off with a more recent one, Alex G. Zoll, who came out in a video for her 18th birthday earlier this month. I just love her reaction once she says the words. It is totally okay to be a girl who likes girls or a boy who likes boys. And me personally, I am a girl who likes girls. Did that just come out? Woo! Thanks. Woo! Thanks! Oh, that's nice! Oh, I like it. Now onto someone who's not only inspired so many through his channel and music, but Troy Sivan's coming out video really touched all of us. While he had already come out to his friends and family, he took to his channel in 2013 to share the news with his audience. I want you guys to know that I'm gay. It feels kind of weird to have to announce it like this on the internet, but um, I feel like a lot of you guys are like real genuine friends of mine. But this is not something that I'm ashamed of and it's not something that anyone should have to be ashamed of. So why not share it with all of you guys? Prison Break star Wentworth Miller came out as gay in a letter to the organizers of the St. Petersburg International Film Festival in Russia back in August 2013. After receiving an invitation to the event, Wentworth came out by citing the country's anti-gay laws. He wrote, as a gay man, I must decline. Now, Wentworth has been open about the struggles he faced over his sexual orientation, even attempting suicide when he was just 15. But now, it's so good to see him accept his true self. Next up, Miley Cyrus, who dropped a bombshell on her mom when she was only 14 years old. She revealed to Paper Magazine that she came out to her mom as bisexual right around the time Hannah Montana made its debut. I remember telling her I admire women in a different way, and she asked me what that meant, and I said I love them. I love them like I love boys, and it was so hard for her to understand. She didn't want me to be judged, and she didn't want me to go to hell, but she believes in me more than she believed in any god. I just asked her to accept me, and she has. Teen Wolf star Charlie Carver used social media for his coming out back in January of this year. Through a series of thoughtful Instagram posts, he detailed his journey to self-discovery as a kid, saying, Over time, this abstract knowing grew and articulated itself through a painful gestation marked by feelings of despair and alienation, ending in a climax of saying three words out loud, I am gay. Next up, Shane Dawson came out as bisexual to his audience in July 2015. He opened up about being confused about his sexuality his whole life and wanted others who felt neither gay nor straight to know they're not alone. I am bisexual. A lot of people in my life have told me, I think I'm bi too, and I've never dealt with it. I've never, never tried it out. I've been too scared. Love who you want to love. Life is short. Nobody's going to hate you for it. You just have to remember that God made you who you are for a f***ing reason. I can love multiple people for a reason. And I think that's why I am where I am today, because I'm just so full of love. Actor Zachary Quinto took the opportunity to come out during his profile in New York Magazine in 2011 while speaking about the play Angels in America. Two years later, he opened up about coming out and the promise he made to himself prior. In the many years that I grappled with the issue of how or when or if to do it, you know, one of the big points that I always knew was that it would be uh, in my own time and on my own terms and those were the only two things that I could be sure of. That it was after I had the interview that I actually told people what I had done and then we got into the Okay, well, we'll see, but it wasn't like it was done then. I felt supported at the time uh, in, in a really profound way, you know, by, by fans and people that, that just know me for my work. In 2013, British Olympic diver Tom Daly came out to his fans with a video he captioned, This has been a hard decision to make, but I wanted you to hear it from me. My life changed massively when I met someone. Well, that someone is a guy. I wanted to put an end to all the rumours, the speculation, and just say it. I'm glad that I've got it off my chest. I'm still Tom, 
I still want to win an Olympic gold medal in Rio 2016 for Great Britain. I hope you can join me on my journey to Rio 2016 too. And finally, Raven Simone has never been one for labels, but in 2013, after the dismissal of Prop 8, she took to Twitter and wrote, I can finally get married. Yay, government. So proud of you. Just a year later, she opened up to Oprah about not wanting to be labeled as gay. I'm in, I mean, an amazing, happy relationship with my partner, a woman, and I don't need a category categorizing statement for it. I think that's one thing that kind So you of, don't want to be labeled gay? I don't want to be labeled gay. I want to be labeled a human who loves humans. All right, you guys, now this was part two. We actually did a part one coming out video series, which you can click right yes. here if you want to watch that. But I want to know, of all these coming out stories, which one inspires you the very most? Let's go ahead and talk it all out in the comment section below. And of course, you guys, subscribe to Hollywire TV and also like this video. That'd be awesome. Oh, and by the way, hey, just be you, because I like you the way you are. I'll see you guys later. Bye. For more Hollywire Hot Minutes, go ahead and click that box on the left and to watch a video all about our favorite gay celebrity couples click the box on the right and subscribe